Sarah, where's your where's your wind machine? Oh, I don't know. I must have left it behind. And sweeping shot. Whoa, look at Whoa. that. Oh, drop the script, sorry. That's what you call a jib shot. That's good stuff. It's TV lingo. Artie, our camera guy, really bouncing back from a very poor performance on Tuesday. Welcome to Sports. <laughs> uh, TFC, what a role they've been on, Dan. Can We're... we just call it Sports Center, or do we have to say? Sorry. Yeah. It's. Uh, w can you follow us on Instagram, by the way? It's at Jay and Dan. Sports Center with Jay and Dan. Brought to you by Tim Hortons. Let's get back to the highlights. <laughs> Toronto FC, winners of six straight, Dan, taking on the Montreal Impact. You saw it here on TSN. Sebastian Javinko sitting out a second straight game. TFC just six points away from tying the MLS record for points in a season. Montreal six points below the playoff line. Javinko can only watch. Toronto's first home defeat this season. Drew more on TFC's performance. Top six teams in each conference make the postseason. Montreal on the outside looking in, but just three back of the Red Bulls. And uh, what a response after they were called out by their owner. I mean, everybody on the impact called out. The, the manager, the players, the mascot, uh, David McMillan, owner of Joe Beach. Everybody in Montreal was called out. Preseason games mean different things to different players. Some are trying to make the team, others getting their timing back. Veterans, they just want to make sure they don't get hurt. But for Jonathan Drouin, Wednesday night's preseason game against the Caps meant none of the above, as this was his coming home party. The Quebec native, who grew up just outside Montreal, made his Habs debut. He's going with uh, number 92. Alex Galchenyuk, he wears number 27, which uh, drew out war in Tampa. Carey Price making his preseason debut. Game of work, it's the preseason. He doesn't give a crap mid-second. Well, he does. He just doesn't care that he allowed that. He's just trying to, you know what I'm saying. He's a friend of the show. Hey, Drew, put her off the crossbar. Same man advantage, Drew, down low to Alex Hemsky. It's Max Pacioretty. Hey, Lamu! Drew, finished with an assist. Shot on goal. Habs lost. On another all Canadian battle, I got one for you. Canucks and Flames. None of the big guns playing for Vancouver. They're over in China. They're getting ready to play the Kings early Thursday morning. Three unanswered goals by Vancouver in the second. Flames, they've dropped all three games in the preseason. We flash back to earlier this month when Todd Fraser drilled this home run against the Rays. The game took place at City Field, home of the Mets. As you remember, Tampa uh, was displaced because of the hurricane. And you may remember a disgruntled fan who looked a bit like uh, Game of Thrones book author George R.R. R. Martin giving the thumbs down. Well, today, before the Twins and Yankees, Todd Fraser and Aaron Judge posted this on Twitter. The team adopting that gesture as their go-to celebration of tying Mark McGuire for the rookie record. Fraser, the seal of approval. And the New York dugout showing their support. Twins lose big, but Cubs and Rays, John Lester, known for having the yips when dealing with runners on base. I feel so bad when players deal with the yips. Remember Chuck Knobloch, 2015 game against the Reds. Lester airmails the pickoff throw, World Series last year. He hesitates to even attempt to pick off Francisco Lindor. Back in June, Lester appeared to conquer the yips, picking off Tommy Pham. His first pickoff since September of 2015. But Wednesday was a different story. Steven Souza Jr., big lead at first. Lester, bad pickoff throw. Anthony Rizzo can't get a grip on it. Souza's safe in the second. Souza's safe in the second. And Souza takes off the third. Lester, another poor pickoff attempt. Lester gave up seven earned in just four and a third, and the Cubs lose 8 1 when we return. We unveil our super humongous big NHL season preview. Can a Canadian team win the cup this year? The answer, the definitive answer, is next on Sports Center with Jay and Dan. Uh, the one, that's one. Should we uh, walk over? Yeah. Uh, new shoes on, already got blisters. I've walked five feet in them.
Everybody is talking about our cool new chairs, but Dan, you're not a fan. I gotta walk behind them. They're too big. Um, hey, uh, we're two weeks away from the start of the NHL season. I'm so excited. <laughs> Still many questions remain for all seven Canadian teams, so we thought we'd max out all of TSN's resources to get the answers. First, we welcome from Montreal, TSN reporter John Liu. We're also joined by Ryan Rashog. He's live from Edmonton. Standing by from Winnipeg, it's Sarah Orleski. For the Calgary perspective, Jermaine Franklin. Farhan Lalji is with us. TSN senior writer, Frank Saravelli. NHL insider, Bob McKenzie. We also have Kristen Shilton. Brent Wallace on remote in <laughs> Ottawa. Mark Masters live from Toronto. TSN analyst Jamie McLennan. From the other side of the studio, it's Gino Retta. Sports Center with Jay and Dan stats guy, Mike Hound Dog Harrison. Medical expert, Dr. Magazine. Tough guy, Dean Diener. A cardboard cutout of Ray Ferraro. And of course, the NFL Network's Mike Garofolo. Okay, we are set. So let's answer this. Is this the year? Is a Canadian team finally going to break through and win the Stanley Cup? Sorry, everybody. I'm afraid we've run out of time. Let's do this again in the future. That's good. The Las Vegas Golden Knights are off to a 2-0 start to the preseason after they beat Colorado Tuesday. They fired some shots on Twitter at a few NFL teams that don't have as many wins as they do. How about this, Dan? We won our second game last night. For those keeping track, that's more than the Patriots, Cowboys, or the Washington Pro Football Club. The Montreal Canadiens Twitter account replied, Good for you. You must be very proud of this incredible preseason <laughs> accomplishment, to which the Golden Knights replied, as proud as the Canadians are of how many championships they won when there were only six teams in the league. Boom! Dan, how about this Vegas Golden Knights Twitter account? They're on fire. I, I hate to like it, but I kind of do. They should have saved that chirp if the Maple Leafs Twitter account came, came at them because then they could have said, uh, uh, this team has never won a, a cup since expansion, period. Um, <laughs> do these Twitter guys... I want to see the reaction when, when their tweets take off. Like, it must be. Oh, they must. I think you know. There's movement somewhere. <laughs> Dan, I have a quick question for you. Have you read my national bestseller? One of my two national bestsellers. But have you read my first one, Anchor Boy? If I had to purchase it, the answer would have been no, but you gave me one for free, so yes, I did. And I wrote the foreword, so I had to read that. Right, right. That was, that was a solid two pages. Um... I uh, I released a book. Wondering if you've uh, if you've read it. What? I had no idea. Yeah. Thoughts of a whisper. Uh, I gotta say this. This is a, a beautiful Harlequin ro romance book that you wrote, and you got jacked for the cover. Oh yeah. Big time. Your full name Daniel O'Toole. Can we expect any other uh, Harlequin romances? Stay tuned. Ah, looking forward to that. When we return, it's the segment that's sweeping the nation. It's the Jannies. Who's gonna drive you through from the Timmies? It's the Jannies. It's a combination of our name and a combination of good and bad plays and the whatever. Also, Yankee Stadium Wednesday, Austin Romine, the victim of an unfortunate foul tip, caught him in the testicles. <laughs> Yankees first base coach enjoys <laughs> testicle jokes. Thatcher Demko! Big stop. That's good enough for a Jenny. Demko one up by his counterpart, John Gillies. A Flames 2012 third rounder off his back. It's heading in. He somehow snares it. Gillies. Gilly. Gilly. Um, Dan, I'm a huge fan of apps. I, I'm practically a millennial. I like Facebook. I like the Instagrams. One problem, you and I do not make any money off those apps. I know. It's weird. That's about to change, though, Skippy, because our own app store keeps churning out some must-haves. Mm. Our first app allows you to comment on Twitter anonymously with the Durant Tweet app. This app will make sure you're not tweeting from your personal account by using its patented Are You Talking in the Third Person text recognition. 
Your trolls will have no idea their favorite star players fighting back, but rather think it's a hot take from at CoolMark420. You should follow at CoolMark420. Our next app is called You're in Luck. This app will help you find the least disgusting bathroom for you to use while you're at the big game. Using user, ra user ratings and reviews, you'll be able to see the best quality bathrooms closest to you. You'll be able to avoid long lines, and you will never enter a stall without toilet paper again. You're in luck. Lastly, it's the Knowing Knights app. If you have no idea who any of the Las Vegas Golden Knights players are, <laughs> just snap a picture with the Knowing Knights app, and using facial recognition, you'll be able to pull up player profiles and stats in an instant. You'll be able to point out Lucas Spiza in any crowd. Those are the apps in the App Store. <laughs> that's right, Dan, that's right. By the way, I just want to make it clear. I'm going to call them the Las Vegas Golden Knights all year, even if they're calling themselves the Vegas Golden Knights. You don't hear the Tampa Bay Lightning calling themselves the Bay Lightning. No. I just wanted to say cleared that. that up. I'm, glad, I'm, glad, I'm happy I had that to say. When we return, when we return, Sarah Orleski joins us to talk about the Jets and Oilers. Did you know that three out of three hockey fans suffer from some sort of overexcitement before the start of the hockey season? People really excited sporting events are suddenly on nearby or pre-season is a condition that affects hockey fans and Canadians alike. If you or someone you know thinks that preseason games are important, Preseason All is here to help. Preseason All is the only medication that's proven to ease the effects of meaningless games, headaches, dry mouth, obsessing over line combinations, feeling good about the Coyotes, watching two split squad games at the same time, paying actual money for tickets, tattooing Stanley Cup champions on your arm after two preseason wins, and diarrhea. Ask your doctor if he can help you find your remote control. Ask for preseason all today. Mm -hmm. A lot of side effects there. Yeah. Uh, now it's time to welcome in our uh, TSN Winnipeg Bureau Chief, a person who always brings along her wind machine. And there she is, she's indoors, so no wind. It's Sarah Orleski at Bell MTS Place in Winnipeg. Sarah, the Jets lose, so they're 0-2 in the preseason. The, the record doesn't matter so much, but Steve Mason gives up three goals on 24 shots. Is he the guy to stabilize Winnipeg's shaky goaltending situation? Well, obviously, the Jets certainly hope so, having signed him to that two-year deal. Although it wasn't the start that I'm guessing he would have wanted. As you mentioned, it is just preseason, and the Jets have hoped that they have found somebody that will help them out and stabilize what's been going on in net. Uh, Sarah, give us the pulse of the fans. Uh, the Jets have missed the playoffs the last two years. Uh, are they getting fed up? How are they doing? Uh, the, well, they certainly, they want to make it back to the postseason, obviously. Having only had the taste of two playoff games here in Winnipeg since the team returned, they want more, and expectations are really high. There's a lot of external pressure to be able to make the playoffs, but within that room, players are also saying this has to be the year that they consistently put together wins and take that next step. Sarah, we, uh, in honor of you, we now have a fan on our set. And I have to say, I understand why you've worked with one all these years. It's a wonderful feeling. It's so refreshing. It's pretty great. It, well, that's why I take it on the road with me. It's very, it's very nice. We're looking forward to chatting with you throughout the season. Uh, have a terrific night, and thanks again. Thanks so much, guys. Already put that way. The Vegas Golden Knights revealed their road jerseys in a preseason game against the Avs on Tuesday. The Las Vegas Golden Knights. <laughs> right. During the highlights, we were pretty harsh. Uh, I said their, uh, their unis were hideous. Uh, you called them garbage. Huh? Maybe too harsh? Mm. Let's give them another chance. And a new segment called Sports Clothes. All so, right. I don't, I, mind, I don't mind the home ones, the, the dark grays. Yeah, OK, I agree with you that. They're OK. They're all right. The white ones? Stupid. Barf. So those are awful. What are your thoughts on this week's Color Rush jerseys? Okay, uh, 
San Francisco 49ers fans hate those San Francisco 49ers jerseys. And hey, LA Rams, pick a color and go with it. They were going with the throwback white and blue. Now they're going back to gold and blue. This has been Sports Clothes. Why don't the Canucks bring back those? Yeah, those are sweet. The NFL's in the process of planning the halftime show for Super Bowl 52. Apparently, they reached out to former Nets minority owner and rap mogul, Dan, what is his name? Jizz. They were turned down, though, by Jizz. No reason was given, but according to the source.com, it may be related to the league's treatment of Colin Kaepernick. Wait, the source is a store in Canada, the source.com. Yeah, but the source is also the hip hop Bible. The hip-hop Bible. Okay. Well, Dan, since Jay-Z turned down the gig, we thought we'd offer up a few suggestions for the halftime show. I understand mine will go first in a new edition of Jay and Dan Rank Stuff. I love this segment so much. Here are my picks, okay? And I think they're brilliant. Number one, Radiohead. You don't want to be that happy at halftime. A little <laughs> moody, a little upset. Maybe you'll be called out by Tom York for something you didn't do. Oasis, you reunite. Maybe there's a fight between the Gallagher brothers on stage. That's entertaining. If you can believe it, Dan Fleetwood Mac's never been asked. How is that possible? Weird. They'll do anything for money. Get them up there. Guns N' Roses is back better yes. than ever. And there ain't no party like an S Club party. So let's get S Club 7 back for the Super Bowl halftime show. Uh, I like Billy Joel. Why hasn't he been there? He would be good. He's got I'll a lot like of Billy hits. Joel Elton John combo. Two chains, he uh, collabs with a lot of artists, so he can bring all his friends. Michael Bublé, but I only want him to play Christmas songs, because his Christmas album, oh, that gets you in the Christmas mood. Willie Nelson. I love that idea. The Red-Headed Stranger would be great. And Toto, everyone knows their songs. Yeah. How about Willie Nelson and Toto? This is the weirdest combination in the history of American music. So there you go. Super Bowl committee. This has been Jane Dan Rank Stuff. Coming up, athletes sell you things in our top 10 funny athlete commercials. Someone's pretty upset at you now. Highlight of the night time to Calgary. Flames goalie John Gillies. Unbelievable save here. Reaching back, snagging the puck before it falls in. Gillies. <laughs> Sorry. From the bay with a gray rate to the valley with a gray rate. Who's around with a gray rate? With a gray rate. Uh, we showed you that Derek Carr credit union commercial on yesterday's show. Rave reviews from us. Had high production value, catchy song, great jacket. It's perfection. Now, this is a path other athletes have ventured down plenty of times before. And the results found in the top ten? Actually really good. Except for number three. It's dumb. I say, but I'm Peggy. I am Peggy. Peggy? The hotel says my card is maxed out. Can't be. This is outrage, Mr. Uh... Kane. Patrick. It's a hockey player? Yeah. Tell me. How you score from the left side? Oh, for me, you know, maybe a little juke, a little fake. Low hard, glove side. Hold, please. Uh... Yes. Hello. Peggy, Peggy. Peggy, I can hear you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Ovi. Hey, what's up? What are you doing in the dark, man? Nothing, just the late night filings. Really? Late night filing? What are you, a Russian spy or something? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll catch you later. All right, see ya. Принесло. Да, уж не спалили. You too, Raji. You're on my team. You know that's my move. The discount double check? No, that's my touchdown dance, man. Sir, you're not even doing it right. Raji, drop it. Show me what you got, what you got, Raji. What is this? Come on now. You said you were a dancer. Where are you going, buddy? Come on back. Hey, we got Cy Young winners over here.
chick's dick the long ball. That's a fifth floor problem. Not in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, how happy are folks who save hundreds of dollars switching to Geico? Happier than the campaign with Tumbo blocking a shot. Oh no, it's baseball. Bo knows football. Bo knows basketball too. No. Not hard with Tiger Woods and the Air Zoom TW. The common problem in golf is the slice. One solution is to play with the gallery. Having women and children to my left and right is a handy reminder that I need to keep my club face square. Now let's see how this tip works for Jill, a 27 handicapper from Logansport. Football on your phone, that's what I said. It's football on your phone, you can watch it in bed. It's football on your phone, so now is your chance to have football on your phone and football in your pants. I heard we're getting a couple of Swedish twins. Swedish twins? I thought that was just a myth. Like Bigfoot. This is gonna be awesome. They're here. Here they are, Swedish twins. What's up? Transformation begin. Let's do it. Hey, good job, you can play. You better stop playing around. Watch your back. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Too easy out here against these young blinds. And then he yelled at Max Kellerman. Did you agree with my uh, assessment of number three? I forget, what was that again? The man hints. I liked it. You didn't like it at all. One v one time. Got. Right. Bam bam. Let's go with the challenger first. Let's do it. Flames prospect, John Gilly. What does he do? No. Reach. Back. Got it. Yeah, that was cool. That's going to win. Yeah. Guarantee it. I think you're right. But this was really great, Dan. Rain Man. Mike Hoffman's been uh, the champ for a few days now. For good reason. We need to get Brent Wallace to talk to him and see if he likes uh, the nickname that we gave him last night. At least I did. Rain Man. Uh, Sean Kemp is on the phone. He'd like to talk to you about that. Uh, winner revealed on Thursdays? 6 p.m. Eastern edition of Sports Center with uh, Lindsay Hamilton. I blew it. Uh, I said Real Madrid's win streak was snapped. It was their streak of scoring in 73 straight matches. And our audio guy really screwed me over in this show.